Average Planet here. I hope you guys are having a great day. So today, I want to give you guys a little trading guide uh, for the new Overdrive crate. Like always, when a new crate comes out, all the prices are insane. Nobody quite knows what anything is worth, including the crates themselves. So I want to give you guys a little guide uh, to whether you're either trying to sell your items from the Overdrive crate, or whether you're trying to buy items from the Overdrive crate, or whether you're trying to buy or sell the crates themselves. So. We are just going to go through the crate right now. Um, now remember, I am on PS4, so my PS4 prices are going to be a little different, but the advice that I'm, I'm gonna give you based on the crates in general um, is for all consoles. Like the tips I have on how to make the most profit, um, how to get the best out of your trades, uh, that advice can be on all consoles. So whether you're on PS, if you're on PS4, perfect. If you're on X, uh, Xbox or PC, that's also totally fine. Uh, so let's just get right into this. So here's the overdrive crate. As you know, the rares, very rares, imports, mysteries, and the explosions. So it's pretty simple. They're worth about half a key each. Um, if you get a painted one, I don't, the, obviously the paint finishes don't come painted. Uh, I actually still think that looks pretty good. These don't come painted, obviously, circuit board and glossy, gl glossy block. But the Lone Wolf, Funny Book, and Endo do come painted, depending on the color. If it's titanium white, you might be able to get two keys out of it. If it's painted, you can usually attempt to get either one key or at least one key worth of items. Um, but pretty standard on the rares. These are all a half key, and if it's a painted rare decal, depending on the painted, you'll get either one key or maybe two. Uh, if you find the right buyer, one, but if it's titanium weight, you might be able to get two. Rares are easy. Time to go to the very rare. So the very rares, these are going for about a key as well. Um, they're actually going for a tiny bit more, maybe a key and ads, just because they lead to import trade-ups. And by far in this crate, the imports are the highlight of this crate and the goal explosions obviously but other than the goal explosions um the imports are the highlight not uh the exotic wheels obviously so these are going for about a key if someone gives you a pure key for uh one of these trails i would take it um if you have a really good certification you might be able to get two but i would definitely say key because in a week or two these are going to be down to a half key um, if someone's giving you a key worth, worth of items, I don't know if that's worth it, but if they are willing to give you a pure key for either friction, blazer, or light speed, it is worth it. Um, kind of the same thing goes for the SLK wheels, or I call them the silk wheels. The only difference here, though, is that you might be able to get two or at least one key and to add. So if you have this one, one key and adds, um is definitely the goal definitely try to get a pure key though definitely try to get a pure key and um for painted i see this as kind of like a spiralis sort of wheel in terms of pricing um they're not crazy but if you get a good one they can be worth a good amount of keys um according to rocketprices.net we're looking at somewhere between three and five for almost all of them except four screen can sometimes go for six and crimson can go for six to eight and white can go for six to eight if you have any of these i would definitely sell them now um and if you can get five if you can get five pure keys for any single color for the exception of i'll say crimson and white crimson and white deserve more but if you can get five pure keys for any other color i would absolutely take that deal even four keys and ads i would take that deal um because once again guys one of the biggest pieces of advice for these items if you have these items definitely sell them now because in one week they've already dropped dramatically from july 5th uh when it first came out and they're going to drop dramatically after that so make sure Make sure that you sell them now if you have these items. The same thing with the crates. They're valued at about a key and a half now to two and a half keys, depending on the buyer. But they're going to be dropping soon. So if you have crates and you know you're not going to open them, make sure you try to sell them now. Um, but yeah, those are the SLK wheels. Uh, so again, I would say maybe even more similar to the shacks in terms of pricing. So they will be going down most definitely. If you're, if you're trying to buy these, this is my also advice for uh, anyone trying to buy any of these. If you're looking to buy these, any of these, um, I would wait. Wait like, if you're patient enough, wait like two to three weeks. Because if you wait two to three weeks, you'll be totally all set. And you'll get them for a way, way less price than 
you know, if you bought them now, literally they'll probably go down half in price in the next like month. So if you are looking to buy, like let's say you want to buy white SLK wheels, um, you don't want to spend eight keys, just wait like a couple weeks and you can probably get them for like three or four. So next on the list, guys, we are looking at the imports. So we're going to start Magic Missile because it's pretty standard. Because the fidget spinner wheels, which I predicted, by the way, um, and the turbine wheels are so bad, um, right now it's valued at like two to two and a half keys. If you can get two keys for this, I would absolutely take that. If you can get one key and like a good add, I would take that as well. Definitely try to sell those. And this is when it gets good, guys. The Sentio and the Animus. Right now, the Sentio is valued uh, at 6 to 8, and so is the Animus. These are going to skyrocket down, kind of like the same reason uh, that they don't have any trade-up value. So I would absolutely try to get, and this is my opinion on what I've dealt with, I would try to get right now... Five keys for the Animus and six pure keys for the Sentio. But if someone wants to offer you like four keys in Dracos or, you know, five keys in Dracos for the Sentio, um, just an item that's definitely worth a key that the value is not going to go down, I would definitely uh, highly consider accepting that because, in, again, in the next week or two, these are going to skyrocket down once more people start getting these, once more people start, you know, getting these in crates and they become less rare. People aren't going to want to buy these as much anymore so I would definitely want to sell them now they were worth upwards of like 12 to 15 keys on day one they've already gone down to six to eight so I would definitely just try to get rid of them as fast as you can as long as they're not painted try to get five for the animus and try to get six for the sentio um, in terms of painted I see the animus as sort of like a painted endo right now a little less people don't like the animus as much as the endo uh, right now, the most expensive is like 36 to 50 for white, and we're looking like 30 to 36 for crimson, and then it keeps going down and going down. If you're looking to sell, sell now for the painted Animus and painted Setio. If you're looking to buy, try to be patient and wait like two to three weeks. I know I've said that a million times, but it's probably my most important point of the video is like sell high, buy low. And selling high means sell right now. Buying low means buy and like two or three weeks or even a month from now um sentio is is definitely the favorite car right now i would say it's i would say sentio is the most similar to the endo even though rocket prices has the white animus worth more than the white sentio what i have experienced in people trying to trade people are more likely to buy the white sentio so make sure again sell high buy low you're looking at for all the other colors you're looking at somewhere between 10 and 20 keys uh for the exception of crimson and white which are like three times that so let's go to these wheels these wheels are worth very very little uh unfortunately because they're such a poor design if you can get anything over two keys accepted immediately rocket prices doesn't even have prices on the fidget spinner wheels or the turbine wheels quite yet but I would try to sell them high they're not gonna be worth a lot um, I would say for both of these wheels think about for your price guide think about how much the k2s were selling for painted at the beginning that's what I would base your guide off not the Dracos because the Dracos are way better but for these right now think of what the k2s were when the nitro crate came out for the painted variances and that is what you should do um, for these and again sell high buy low Last thing, guys, the amazing uh, goal explosions. Right now, Hellfire is the favorite. Rocket Prices has it valued at about 40 keys. Again, I would absolutely try to sell this. If someone offers you 40 pure keys, I would accept it. But you might be able to get more, to be honest. I've heard of people buying them for 60 or 70, even today. So I would try to get more than 40. But if someone offers you 40, I think that's the minimum you should take for Hellfire. Um, and the same thing with the, with the other three. I would take about a minimum of 30 keys. Um, I know Rocket Prices has Sub-Zero at 24 keys, Fireworks at 28, Electric Shock at 30, but I would say the other three, I would say the other three, try to get like at least maybe 25 keys and five keys worth of ads at, at least, and then try to see if you can get more because people are loving these and they're buying them like crazy. Right now I have the Fireworks, I've gotten some crazy offers, but I know you guys in the stream love watching uh, the Firework mystery explosion which is why i have not sold it um but yeah definitely try to get at least 25 keys in ads or 30 keys total for these three try to get at least 40 for this but i think you should if you have hellfire you should try to get more because people are buying them at absurd prices right now
that is it guys thank you so much for watching um, I just wanted to make this trading guide video for you because so many people keep asking me prices what to sell them for what to buy them for so I just wanted to clear everything up by making this video I hope it helps you guys in the trading Rocket League world remember I am on PS4 so those prices are for PS4 but the advice about selling right now and trying to buy like a month from now that goes for all consoles um so yeah i just wanted to make this video for you guys make sure you like the video if you haven't already and make sure that you sub we do awesome giveaways as you already know as well as daily streams daily uploads and just other awesome stuff on the channel so make sure that you subscribe that is it guys thank you so much for watching again and have a great day peace out